So welcome fellow problem solvers, Johan Oosthuis in here. Remember to share, like and subscribe. Now we're going and venturing into the unknown. How to square fractions and to have the square root of fractions. So let's see how that works. Stay tuned. Welcome back fellow problem solvers. Yes, squares and square roots. That's what we're talking about today and how to apply those with fractions specifically. So the steps we're following is first of all, we will have to apply whatever it is, if it's a square or a square root to both the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to have to write it down and then from there on we have to apply it separately and then beware of the negative. We'll get there soon. So first thing is let's do some practice. So 2 over 3 square is equal to 2 square over 3 square. This exponent applies to both the numerator and the denominator. And from here on it's very easy to calculate. 2 square is equal to 4. 3 square is equal to 9. Um, do we have any common factors here? No we don't. Therefore we are done and we are happy. Let's look at example 2. Apply it at both, so it's 3 square over 4 square. The moment you do a calculation here, it will become a 9 over 16. Do you have any common factors here? No, we don't. Therefore, we are done. Let's look at the third example. Whoa, here we have to be careful. We've got a mixed number. So first step is you have to take it to an improper fraction. That's our step. Remember, we have to do that first. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So it's 7 over 3 square, which is 7 square over 3 square, which is equal to 49 over 9. Do we have any common factors there? No, we don't. Therefore, we are done. And these were the examples regarding squares specifically. Now let's move over to square roots. Same rules apply. You take the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. Now we apply it separately. Square root of 36 is equal to 6. Square root of 81 is equal to 9. Do you have any common factors here? Yes, we do. We've got 3 as a common factor. 3 goes into 6 twice and into 9 three times. So this will be simplified to 2 over 3. Let's move over to the following example, example 5. And we've got a mixed number yet again. So what's our very first step? Improper fractions. We have to write it down as an improper fraction. So that means the square root of, now let's see, 3 times 36 is 108. 108 plus 30 is 121. 121 over 36. Now we're going to apply the square root at the numerator and denominator separately. And the square root of 121 is 11. Square root of 36 is 6. Do we have any common uh, factors here? No, we don't. Therefore, we are happy and we're done. Let's look at the last example. And this is where we need to be aware. Beware of the negative. Beware of the negative. A negative number underneath a square root is undefined. Therefore, it has no solution. No real solution. Okay. So, no solution. Very important. The moment you see a negative underneath a square root, this only applies if it's a square root or a fourth root or a sixth root or an eighth root, an even number root. Then this applies. Then we'll have no solution. So, enjoy. Happy practicing. See you soon.